enough for the concert. I think it's ready to rumble. We are waiting Michael Buffer's introduction of the fighters, of the particulars. Sooner or later, we're going to hear it. I guarantee it. Prince Nassim Ahmed against Kevin Kelly. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Here we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Warren for Sports Network in association with Cedric Kushner Promotions presents 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Featherweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by Adidas, with special thanks to the Ministry of Sound in London, official suppliers of this evening's music, taken from their dance album, The Annual Three. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization, President and Supervisor at Ringside, Francisco Barcacel. It is also sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Chairman, former Olympic gold medalist and two-time world heavyweight champion, Floyd Patterson. Commissioners in attendance at ringside, Rose Trentman and Melville Southern. First Executive Director, Tony Russo. Executive Director, Jim Bosanello. Director of Boxing, Bob Duffy. Our physicians at ringside, Dr. Arnold Illman and Dr. Rufus Sadler. Timekeeper at the bell is Jim Borzell. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Jose Rivera, Victor Salomon, and Eva Shane. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee, Benji Esteve. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, from Madison Square Garden, New York City. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing green trimmed with gold, and weighing 126 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one. 47 victories, 32 by knockout, with only one defeat and two draws. And he has captured two world titles. Ladies and gentlemen, from Flushing, New York, here is the WBO number three ranked featherweight in the world and former two-time world champion, the Flushing Flush, Kevin. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing leopard with Adidas trim, he weighs 126 pounds also. And he also has an outstanding professional record of 28 consecutive victories without a blemish. 26 by knockout. And he also has captured two world title belts. Tonight, he comes to America to show the world he must be considered as pound for pound among the best in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, from Sheffield, England, the reigning undefeated WBO, featherweight champion of the world, presenting Prince Nazi. Okay, man, this is what it's all about. Remember, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. May the best man win. Touch up. Let's go. Come on, guys. Touch it up. All right, let's do this. 
Well, we started yesterday, but we're ready to go today. Chris has seen my man against Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly gets a last drink of water. There's the bell. Both guys come out throwing hard shots. Both guys are sophomores. Kevin is taller and has a longer than six inch reach advantage. Let's see if my man goes into his orthodox style. Brown of Kelly. Kelly starts already. All cheers for Kevin Kelly in the introduction. Who's the cheers for Nassim Hamid? Right there by Nassim. Stalking, I see. I see him turning righty. Another good chopping shot by Kevin Kelly. Kevin, Kevin Kelly staying outside. Another good shot by Kevin Kelly. Less than 20 to go here in round number one. Let's see him has turned righty. Trying to throw the right hand. Now he goes back to lefty. And of Kelly Kelly starts again. There's the bell. Kevin Kelly drops the prince in the first round. And you gotta be focused for me. I need you to really slow your heart down. Water, I got that. Spit. Spit. You need to look at me. You need to really look at me. There's two things we gotta do. Don't go look at him, Just off your job. You'll hit him with your bombs. Well, keep your keep your right hand. All right. Keep your, the replay. The scene comes in. Kelly with a right on the chin. Look where that comes from. That came from blessing. That would have to go in the books as a 10-8 round. You got me. Go, go, go. Yep, Prince Nassim is still a very dangerous fighter. Can't relax like Junior Jones did. Against Kennedy McKinney where he got knocked out. Prince stepping up his offense a little bit. Staying in the southpaw stance. Nassim is fighting backwards now. He jumps up and almost walks into a Kelly right hook. 
No Parnell Whitaker move. Down he goes. Down he goes again. Another big punch by Kevin Kelly. Seven. The crowd is going delirious. Good shot. Chris, I see his glove. He's getting beat up right now. Kevin Kelly looks like he's stuck in the corner. That was a slip. Chris, I see my man. My man has been down in the first, down in the second. Kevin Kelly, very controlled. Kevin Kelly, pot shot at Chris right now. Another big right here. Kevin Kelly's doing a lot of damage. He's got Nassim Ahmed hurt against the ropes. This is the Kevin Kelly of about six or seven years ago. Very controlled. The consummate boxer. Not trying to get into a slugfest with a guy who's a big puncher. Two, two, three, four, Down goes five, Kevin Kelly. Six, seven, eight. Come on, baby. This fight is taking on fight of the year quality. Hey, Bree, Green Bay, Green Bay, no. Watch that over, watch that over. Let's go. Folks, now it's turning into a slugfest. Kevin Kelly trying to end this right now. Kevin Kelly is trying to end this fight right now. Didn't seem to be too hurt from that knockdown. Being left over the top by Kevin. He's stalking Chris Lassie. This I did not expect. Kevin Kelly finding a range right, against Chris Lassie. 24 ahead. seconds go. to go here in round two. So far, it's lived up to the height. Kevin Kelly throwing home runs right now. Looks down to his corner. Five seconds. The end of round number two. Five. Seconds out, let's go. Seconds out, stay right there, stay right there. Stay right there. This is going to be a hard one to score. Round three, here at Madison Square Garden. Tony Page with me at ringside. Glad you're here. Now it's turning into a death fest. <laughs> Kevin using that good right jab. His seems to have a little more pop on it. Good short punch by Kevin. Kevin is not rushing in after he's nailed. I see. He seems to be trying to get inside a little bit. Rumble on the inside instead of staying outside and getting caught by Kevin's overhand shot. He's getting hammered by that right jab at Kevin. 
Step back. Come on, let's go. A lot of tension in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Kelly takes a good shot from Chris Nassim. Good inside shot by Nassim. Another good shot by Chris Nassim. Less than 20 here to go. Round three. seconds. Time. Let's go. Let's go. Face down. Face down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Good box. Look at me. You're not listening. If you don't use your jab and if you don't move your head, we're going to run into difficulties and I don't want that. What we worked on to get this guy out of here was our, our tempo. Correct? Gotcha. When you're hunting a peanut, think what you did to Craig. Think what you did to Flat Top. Think what you did to Judah. Think all these things, how you let them hands go. Why all Fine, step back, fine, step out. Yeah, you gotta move. You got me? Just don't get in a wall with him. Pick him off, you will gradually break him up off your job. Yeah. You understand? Bing, bing. Right. Bang, then come back with it. Got me? Yeah. Break him up on it. He's had his phone now, he's had his phone. You start giving it to him. Here we go, round number four, Madison Square Garden. Twelve rounds for the WBO. Let's keep it clean. Let's go. Another way championship for the world. Twelve rounds. He's such a long way to go in this fight. Kevin back to using that right pile jab, pile driving jab. Kevin reaches the seat again. Oh, Kevin throwing those overhand shots. The seems trying to cut, counter it by. Rocking back on his hand, back, back on his feet, I'm sorry. Oh! Okay, watch ahead. Let's go. Brainer. Watch that elbow. Don't, don't rumble with Kevin Kelly. Oh, another overhand left by Kevin Kelly. It's almost like the desperation shot, Kevin. Kelly still throws those chopping punches. Down goes Kevin Kelly. Oh, that was a solid shot by Nassim. Six, that one hurt Kevin. Seven, eight, give me your hands. Back up. Still a minute 22 to go. Good right hand by Nassim. Kevin Kelly is still dangerous. One. And he's going at her now now because Nassim Hamed's glove touched the ground. That happened earlier in the fight. The referee didn't call it. Then Kelly hit him again. Kelly throws hard punches again. This fight has ebb and flow back and forth. Both guys throwing home run shots now. Down goes Kelly again. Nassim Hamed knocked out Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly was a split second. Too late getting up. Heck of a performance. Heck of a 
good performance by Kevin Kelly. Come on, come on, come on. Kevin Kelly and Nassim Hamed just got into one heck of a slump because the referee Benji, Benji Estevez was a little slow on the count, but Kevin just wasn't getting up. I think I heard Chris Nassim Hamed say that was Kevin was the toughest guy he ever fought. Hamed was down in the first. Kelly was down well, in the second. I don't want now twice in the fourth. Let's take a look at some of the knockdowns. Good double left by Nassim. Kevin went down real hard. Kevin came back with that right. Nassim's gloves look like they touched the canvas, just like earlier in the fight. Here's where Kevin got caught. The fighter tends to go down on his back. It's hard to get up. Referee gave Kevin all the chance in the world to get up, but that left caught him coming in. Kevin moving forward to the left, right on the button. Nassim definitely has the power. Kevin Kelly, a game warrior, took it to the front. He's probably tougher than any fighter. Here we see Kevin, he's up. Talking to promoter Frank Warren. No chin. Let's go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, before we give the official time, how about a round of applause for the great effort by these two featherweights in the ring at this time, Kevin Kelly and the Prince. The official time, two minutes, 27 seconds of round number four. Referee Benji Estevez calls a halt to the bout. The winner and still the undefeated WBO featherweight champion of the world. Prince Nazim Hutman. We are waiting for an interview up in the uh, ring. Larry Merchant with uh, hopefully both participants. I'd like to hear from Prince Nassim Ahmed. Very exciting night of boxing here at Madison Square Garden. Prince Nassim Ahmed retains the WBO featherweight championship. Fourth round TKO over a very game Kevin Kelly. Earlier tonight, Junior Jones lost his WBO junior featherweight champion. He got knocked out by Kennedy McKinney. So a lot of knockouts. Very interesting uh, co-main event. Hamed down three times. Kelly down. Uh, Seem congratulations. Thanks a lot, my man. You describe what happened in this fight tonight. Well, first of all, I come out of the first round, and I know my job was too clean and nice and fast, but still, I wanted a bit of a fight. I wanted to cause so much excitement in this arena. It's my first night. It's my first fight in New York, Madison Square Garden, and I wanted to show the people here that I can fight, I can take it on the chin, and I can give it. End of the day, he caught me some great shots, all due respect to Kevin, but I wanted to, t I wanted to basically take him out, and I wanted to, I just really want to show all my skill on, this, on the night. I wanted to make it look exciting for everybody, so I had to take some shots, but I give my shots. Now, I took his, but did he take mine? 
Well, let, we're, we're going to watch round one and the knockdown in round one when you were knocked down. Were you? My hair looked good. Were you, were you stunned by what was going on here? Was he presenting a different picture than you imagined? I didn't really see the shot, so I've got to give it him. But look at me, straight up. That's the heart of a lion. That is a heart of a lion. Right. A champion's heart, straight up. Compose myself, get back. Even though I got hit with some good shots, I came back and I get him my shots. And he didn't, he didn't take my shots, no. You fought in what appeared to be a more orthodox fashion than you have in other fights. Explain why. Because I was here, it was my first time in Madison Square Garden. I wanted to call some exciting. I wanted a fight. I know I can fight. I know when it comes down to it, when it comes down to heart to heart, and of a heart of a champion, and getting basically getting in there and taking the fight, whatever you've got to take, you've got to give. And I, I give mine, and he gave his, and he couldn't take it. I knew. When did you sense that he was weakening and that he couldn't really take your power? Well, I started getting closer and closer. I started getting closer and closer. I knew once I hit him, now he went down before I, before I took him out. And the referee looked in his eyes and he couldn't take any of it. He couldn't take no more. The referee let me at him again. It'd have been the best. All right, here's, this, look, here's look a... at that. There you go. There you go. Now, if I didn't walk up to him too as fast as I did, that he wouldn't get up. That was the second round. There you go. All I hit him with a perfect right hand. Now, look, you can see him smiling, but he knows the pain. I was... I was, smiling. I was smiling when he hit me. I was smiling, but end of the day, my feet was back together, my head was clear, I got up straight away, composed myself and took him out. It seemed that both of you both liked and respected each other. Definitely. Kevin is a very, very nice guy. I get on with Kevin, I got on with Tom Johnson, all the American fighters, the great guys in and out of the ring. So at the end of the day, I just want to fight. And I did that and I took him out. I came to America, I proved myself. I'm 29 and 0, what can I say? The last time, I'm, they've all gone knockouts now from 94. I've stopped every one of them from 94. Repeat what you said to Kevin at the end of the fight. Kevin, you're probably one of the best I box, if not the best. I know I'm the best you've boxed, and he said that to me and all. And we've got great, great respect for each other, but at the end of the day, I am the world champion. And people have got to realize that I am the champion of the world. Thank you very much, Prince. Jim, George. That was... Uh, the prince does not lack of confidence and he's got a good point they both took each other's shot but kevin couldn't take his the prince does have extraordinary power good good power tighten up the defense a little bit because kevin kelly dropped him three times both guys went down three times very exciting fight hope we get to hear from kevin kelly uh, people were cheering when he was in his corner just a second ago and we are waiting to hear from kevin kelly and larry merchant up in the ring we're waiting for that as kevin kelly comes on over.